the July Medicine Wheel reading. And this month is going to be a crazy good month. The month of July is going to be amazing. Everything indicates that it's going to be a wonderful month. And so, to start off with, in the eastern direction of air, we have Butterfly, which is all about transformation, and the number 9. Now, this means that the essence of this reading and everything that we are going to go through in July is going to be transformative in nature. In the southern direction, the action that we need to take is number 7, Skunk Reversed. And this basically means that we need to repel that which we don't want. We need to pay attention to what we attract in our lives. And that is basically the law of attraction, where you learn to know what you're attracting into your life and why. And this month, our action is to know what to repel. Instead of accepting everything, we need to know what not to attract. And in the western direction of water, we have Raven. Raven is the messenger of the gods and mystery. And so the exact process that we are going to attain our goals and that manifestation is going to occur is a mystery this month, and it's going to be left up to divinity. Pretty much we're going to decide what we want to attract, and then divinity will figure out how to bring it to us in our daily life. The result of our action, the card in the northern direction of Earth, is Mountain Lion. And the 17 adds up to 8, which means reciprocal energy. But Mountain Lion is actually about leadership. Now, this could be a change in leadership in the outer world. However, I want to say that we are either going to be taking on a leadership role, or we will be seen as leaders, or we will change how we lead our lives in general. So this might be a very interior card because at the center of the medicine wheel, I drew the selenite rose. And to me, this always reminds me of the Rosicrucian rosy cross or the sacred heart of Jesus. And basically it represents enlightenment and divine connection. This is the opening of the heart chakra to the point where we are enlightened, where we slowly peel back the different layers until we carry that beautiful frequency and energy that helps inspire others and brings peace to others. We also received Jibo, the rune for gift. Now, whenever I pull this rune, I usually receive a physical gift, and if you notice, it is the X, like X marks the spot on a treasure map, or X is in a kiss, so this either way is one of the more beneficial runes out of all the runes, except for, I think, maybe So Willow would be better, but Jibo is an extraordinarily positive rune. And finally, at the center, we also have gold, the sun. Now, this is the goal of every alchemist, is to achieve gold. And the sun is the planet associated with gold. And so this means that, once again, a golden state of mind is enlightenment. And so, for me, I have two symbols of enlightenment here. But it could mean physical gold, especially since we pulled Jibo for gift. But I want to say, because of the selenite rose, that this is more of a spiritual nature. And, like I said, perhaps all of us are going to become enlightened. We'll reach that state of consciousness that we've been striving towards in all of our great work, as they say. So, the month of July is fantastic. It looks like we are going to be putting the Law of Attraction into action and attracting what we want in life. And... It's going to be absolutely beautiful. So that's all that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this Medicine Wheel reading and that it gives you great hope for the month of July. And let's see what happens. It's going to be a great